Hey everyone, one of the popular videos that I've done recently was on powering your live scope system. And I had a amped outdoors lithium ion battery to power that system. It's been popular and some people have uh, checked it out to use it. I've got some tips today on how to extend the life of that expensive battery. And they are pretty expensive, but they're a great powerhouse as well. But stick around and we'll go over some things on how to extend that life. Okay, we're going to talk about a few things to extend the life of that battery. And one of the interesting things I thought was charge and discharge rate. And I'm going to pop up a graph on the, on the screen here to show you a little bit more about that that I thought was interesting. Looking at this graph here now, you'll see that uh, um, the chart is showing the capacity loss as a function of the charge and that discharge bandwidth. In other words, how many discharge cycles can you get versus the range of your charge to discharge. So if you, as you can see here, um, the life, the kind of the sweet spot on this uh, is 75 to 65. But that's the highest uh, number of charges and discharge levels. So you're looking for that sweet spot where you're not always charging it to 100% and this discharging it to 25%. You know, charging it to 100% and then discharging it to 50%. Uh, you can see in here there's a, a range of, of charge to discharge that gives you the longest char number of, of discharge cycles over the life of that battery. So interesting to note that uh, charging it up to 100% and running it down to zero all the time uh, is not the way to extend the life of your battery. Rather, uh, hovering around that 50% level, uh, you can see the optimum to 75 to 65. And of course, that's not a, a viable, reasonable way to operate your battery, but not fully charging it. Or uh, if you do fully charging it, not fully discharging it every time you use it. And if you think about the use of one of these batteries on a boat setup like I've got in, like I've got it set up, one day of use, I'm getting that thing back on the charger because I'm not going to take it down below 50%. And in the long term, I'll save the life of my battery. One of the other key functions here, I'm popping up a graph on the screen about the ambient temperature of that battery and how you store it as well. And you'll see on here, if you store that battery at 32 degrees with 100%, 40% charge on it or 100% charge on it, you can see how much capacity loss you get. So uh, having uh, uh, storing it in a hot environment is bad, cooler environment is better. Um, and you'll have uh, more capacity um, if you've if you've stored that thing not at 100 percent and not in a hot condition. Uh, and that's something I wouldn't have known otherwise. You know, having some discharge on it and storing it in a cooler environment saves on the life of the battery. Something interesting related to the chemistry of that battery and, and something as we store our batteries. And, you know, if you got them in a hot place and they're topped off at 100 percent all the time, that you're going to drastically reduce the life of that battery. So keeping them slightly discharged and in a cooler environment, and they'll last a lot longer. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. A couple of quick things related to the storage of your battery and related to the discharge cycle of your battery that both can extend the life uh, of that purchase. And, and it's not a cheap purchase anymore, but it's, it's a pretty useful one and almost necessary one for today's modern electronics. So if you're gonna spend a little bit more money on that battery, Having a little bit of knowledge to extend the life of that expensive purchase is a smart thing to do, and, and it'll be reliable when you need it most. Thanks for checking out the video, and we'll talk to you guys next time.